magnificent. Look at him shaking his head. That really is a unique achievement. I think you're going to do really, really well. Ah! Michelle comes out and delivers under pressure when it matters. Surprises herself. And that's what we're going to see over the next week. Here's Roger Black. Lennox Lewis today announced his retirement from boxing. Early in the morning, they're all over 50 and they're all loving it. And oh. Pauline. Look. I just mean, lovely, yeah. lovely. You like watching me dance, oh, don't I you? Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, I never realised you were so tall. Uh, it's not an advantage when you're isn't dancing. It? I no. Said, yeah. How about when you're running? Is it that? always helped when I was <laughs> running. Yeah. <laughs> and you wait for that gun to go, knowing that when that gun goes, you have to deliver. The noise is deafening as they finally get away. And it's this this ability to perform under pressure. It's the ability to perform when it really matters. It is the one thing that will separate the champions from the also-rans. As Roger Blake chases the back of Double Eight, Double Eight is closing. I had one conversation with somebody, and that one conversation changed my life. If I hadn't have had that conversation, I wouldn't have won an Olympic medal. He said, stop worrying. Stop being reactive. Champions are proactive. They recognise what they can influence, except what they can't. And when the time comes to perform, they focus all their energy on the things that they can influence. Roger Black starts streaking away now. The gap is opening. I experienced creativity at the highest level within a team. If we wanted to become world champions, we had to get creative and we had to step up and become outstanding. And we were up against the mighty Americans, a team that hadn't been beaten for about 40 years. Later on that evening, we went to bed. And as usual, I was sharing with Chris Akabusi. It was about 2 o'clock in the morning when he leant over. He, uh, he looked me in the eyes. He said, Roger, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I said, well, I hope not, Chris, but, uh, <laughs> but I must say, you look very sexy in those pink pyjamas. I said yes, because we, we both knew, but we picked a team that was running for second place. And what we actually had to do for the very first time was we had to make the Americans think. You have to dare to win. You have to take a risk. The wind freshening as they get away, and Roger Black in lane number three goes straight away, closes right down on the Jamaican. That evening, I was running for Derek Redmond, for John Regis, and for Chris Akabusi, three of the greatest teammates that I've ever had. At the handoff point, while it's very close between America and Great Britain, but I think Great Britain have just got the edge. For the first time as a team, we've taken a collective responsibility for our performance. It was a liberating feeling. can't quite get there. America will take over in the lead with their world champion Pettigrew on the anchor leg. Akabusi goes after him. The difference is three metres. Here he goes. This is the important point. Can Akabusi do it? Akabusi has a go. And the American is beaten. And he's fighting back. Akabusi has made it. Akabusi, goal for Britain. America second. And Jamaica third. And the time, 257.54. A new British, a new Commonwealth, a new European record. But actually, we have a bond between the four of us that will last forever. It's a bond that most athletes don't have. Um, we have it because of one word, teamwork. And the gamble paid off. We had the courage to change a winning formula. And I think it's that ability to change a winning formula that actually is a winning formula. And that's what today is all about. It's about having the courage to change what you're doing well and make it even better.